listen up people I guess y'all heard the story about the chubby kid body slamming the little skinny kid I guess you seen the video well I've been sitting here and I've been picking at the little videos and all like this and I noticed a lot of bullshit flying around you see what I'm saying the little skinny kid his name is Richard Gilly Gilly whatever and the chubby kid's name is Casey. Now, come on, y'all. Everybody's seen the video. The proof is in the pudding. Right there in that video. Now, you got this look. Now, hold up. I'm going to stop this. Now, you look at this kid. That's the skinny kid that got body slammed by the chubby kid. Boy, it's 12 years old. Now, think about it. Why is a 12-year-old with the pierced eyebrow? If I was his parent, I would have beat the shit out of him. Because think about it. Ain't no damn 12 year old that's going to have a pierced eyebrow. Second thing is, this motherfucker is not say He said in the video, oh, I'm not sorry. You're not sorry. Dude, you was punching all up on a chubby kid and you got body slammed? And you say you not sorry. Dude, I would have felt a little bit bare if you got body slammed by a big chubby kid. Now, and he says, and the second thing is, he said that the chubby kid, Casey, the chubby kid, the chubby kid, this kid, that's Casey. This kid right here said that Casey was bullying him. I said, hold up. Why you coming out the woodworks now? Why you coming out the woodworks now? Saying that that Casey was bullying you. When that video hit the media, the first thing should have been said was, it didn't go down that way. It didn't go down that way. But you didn't. You waited. He, this guy, this boy's family waited to the last minute to come out the world. Oh, Casey, the little chubby kid did it. Why wait till the last minute to say something? Why wait till the last minute to say, oh, he, the fat kid did it. The chubby kid did it. Yada, yada, yada. That kid did it. It makes no damn sense that this motherfucker and his family come out the woodwork saying, oh, the fat kid was doing all this. Now, you look at the difference between this kid, this kid that you see, and this kid. Who's going to get picked on? The skinny kid or the chubby kid? My money's on the chubby kid that's going to get picked on. Not him, but him. Doesn't matter how old the boy is. The fact of the matter is, this little motherfucker was picking a fight. He just mad that he got his ass whooped by a chubby kid. That's all that matters right there. And the, and, and, and I seen the video where his parents come out to woodwork and say something. His, I, I agree with his father and what his mother had to say. His father said was, well... We wasn't there. We wasn't behind the, behind the scenes of what really happened. No, we wasn't. We wasn't there behind the scenes of what happened or what popped off or what made him punch on this chubby kid. We, we don't know what happened. But like I said, the proof is in the pudding where... The proof is in the pudding where this kid, this kid, this richer kid, was punching on this kid. That's all the evidence there is. He can say, he can. This kid right here can say, "Oh, the chubby kid was calling me dumb, retarded, and, and stupid, and, and all like this and that and this and that." But it's this kid's word against his because the video shows that he's punching on him. On this chubby kid, this Casey dude, 
and he shows Casey defending himself by deboing or body slamming this kid. Self defense, so really, this kid ain't got a cup to hold water. He ain't got nothing to hold water, hold nothing in. He ain't got nothing to hold. He ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. He waited too damn long to come out the woodwork and say that fat kid was picking on him. That's how it is. He waited too fucking long to come out the woodworks and say that chubby kid Casey was hitting on me and calling me a retarded boy. He waited too damn long. If it would have been me, I would have said something when the media got hold of that video. I would have said that that didn't go down like that. That really didn't go down like that. But this boy didn't do that. His this boy, his family did not do that. When this boy Richard's mother, his own mama, busted down and say, I think my son need to apologize to Casey. And I think he did needs to too, because this boy didn't sit here and say sorry or nothing he's trying to lie his lie his way out of it oh Casey was picking on me Casey was picking on me if Casey was picking on you don't you think he would have threw the first hit don't you think he would have actually put his hands on you first think about it this boy didn't even put his hands on this skinny motherfucker first so why is this boy going around telling people that this kid, Casey, started this whole mess? But really, it was his fault. You can't sit there and try to lie your way up out of it in the public eye right now because, like I said, you waited too damn long to just to say he started it first. You were just bullshitting. And people need to notice, every time a video that comes out in the media, it's always somebody that comes out the last moment to say it was wrong just to get that paper. This boy and his family want to get famous off this video viral shit. Casey didn't. Casey didn't. This kid didn't. He just did his thing and defend himself. As somebody was recording, somebody was recording, he didn't look for fame, fame was looking for him. But you look at this boy, he's looking for fame. 12 years old with a pierced eye, bro, what the fuck wrong with these parents? If I had a damn 12 year old son, he, he better not get a damn pierced eye, bro, I'll beat the shit out of him. If y'all sit here and take up for this skinny little fuck you just as dumb as the parents are you just as dumb as this boy's parents and that's how it is if you take up for this skinny motherfucker right here with the pierced eyebrow you is just as dumb as his parents I did videos where saying y'all need to put a stop to this bullying this cyber bully but it's motherfuckers that sit there and don't they don't put a stop to it and look what happens. You got a motherfucker trying to lie his way out of it. Trying to lie. Now this is Afro Joe. To me, like I said, this boy needs his ass will. He took too damn long to respond. He's trying to get famous and get some money. That's all this boy's trying to do. This Casey kid was just defending himself. He didn't do nothing wrong but was defending himself. And I give him kudos for that. But it's just this skinny fuck Richard I don't give two shits about. That was really on him and his parents. This is Afro Joe. You tell me what you think about this situation. And please don't give me none of that Billy Jack bullshit saying you're crazy Afro Joe they both deserve to be punished yes but yes they do need to be punished 
but this kid needs to be more punished than Casey. But don't give me none of that bullshit talking about, Joe, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Talk about the issue. Don't talk about me. Talk about the issue. And this is Afro Joe. Holla at me. Holla at me. If you like my video, give me a good comment. If you hate my video, then move the fuck on. Give me a good holla at me. I hope I get a video response out of this.